They go back to the ground now with Minson. And now running right through it. So finding room to the 20. And Welcome to Game of Strikes Episode 2. Uh, the Bengals are coming off a 0-1 loss. They're doing a season opener against the San Francisco 49ers. And this is starting off bad with Debo Samuel picking right where the Seahawks left off at. Uh, leaving that open field right there, which is kind of crazy. Um, so they go up 7-0 initially. Andy Dalton's going to go and march back. He hits Joe Mixon, um, who gets into the middle of the field there. He's going to run a play action, and he's going to find his receiver deep as Tyler Boyd. Boyd with a nice haul in there. Uh, looks like Andy Dalton is 2-2 with a 19-yard pass there on that play. And then Boyd again just mosses the corner, Jason Verrett who was signed in the offseason for the 49ers. Then caps it off with a touchdown pass to CJ Uzoma, the tight end who also was back in the fold this offseason. Garoppolo picks up again, hits his tight end there. Uh, and then this is just nasty. Oh, my God. Uh, Tevin Coleman just embarrasses the Bengal linebacker right there and slides in for six there. So they go up 14 to seven. The Bengals have their backs up against the wall and Andy Dalton is sacked here on the play. Unfortunately, that leads to them giving the ball back to the San Francisco 49ers who take back over at their 50, but then they're stopped by Drake Kirkpatrick. So after the Bengals get that, they make a big stop. But then Andy Dalton turns the ball over, throws an interception to Jason Verrett, was looking for Tyler Eifert. Uh, but that was just an unacceptable turnover there. Uh, so the 49ers get the ball back again with a minute left in the second quarter. And Jimmy's going to hit his receiver to the left. And then he's going to continue to drive here. He's going to make another pass to Debo Samuel, who's wide open. It's almost like deja vu from the Seahawks game. The rookie Debo Samuel is definitely leaving an imprint on this game. The Bengals have to figure out how to cover the middle of the field. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, it was wide open. Andy gets the ball back, throws another pass to Tyler Boyd, who seems to be his most uh, consistent receiver here. Then Mixon with a nice mix there, no pun intended, to midfield. He gets there. They have 20 seconds left, and he's going to try to dial up another throw here. He's going to hit Tyler Boyd again. Tyler is just having a crazy game right now. Andy's been 9 of 13 for 127 passing yards. 118 passing yards overall. Tyler Boyd, five receptions, 94 yards before halftime. Not even at the half yet. So the Bengals add another three there. It's 21 at 10. They're going to start the second half off with a run to Joe Mixon. He gets to midfield. But the Bengals have to stop settling for field goals. They got to do what they can to try to try to get on the, on the uh, scoreboard here. So another pass to A.J. Green, and then Dalton steps back again. He hits Tyler Boyd again for another catch into 49ers territory. But they settle for another field goal. And even though it's a one-score game, they're going to have to do a kickoff. And unfortunately, this guy is going to take it the distance, untouched the entire way. That is going to be close to putting a nail in the coffin for the Bengals there. Now the 49ers are up 28 to 13, two scores. Dalton drops back, under two minutes left. He's got to hurry up here, gets it to Eifert. They're going to keep going for it. They need to get it in here, almost throws another interception. Uh, incomplete there, and at this point with 48 seconds, this is the foregone conclusion that they're going to lose this game. Um, so the 49ers go ahead and get possession back. Bingo still couldn't do anything. So they're going to try to take the clock out, but there's still a couple of seconds left. And Andy's just going to heave up a pair here, and it's intercepted by Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman on the play there. So. The Bengals lose another one. Start off the season 0-2. They lose 28-13. They didn't capitalize when they needed to. And this is a tough start to the season. But they do have some promising games coming up. 
so don't fret they still could turn this thing around but definitely needed to take this one here especially against the 49ers and Jimmy Garoppolo uh, the 49ers are on the rise but this is one on the schedule I thought that the Bengals had uh, they came out here and passed the ball well 224 passing yards 60 rushing yards uh, could have did a lot better there uh, it seemed like they were doing better in the run game but 15 15 rushes for 60 yards for Joe Mixon so Billy Price is looking like they kind of let that one get away Andy Dalton 71.8 uh, rating there 239 yards passing through an interception no touchdowns Joe Mixon um, Tyler Boyd the MVP 125 yards on eight receptions just no touchdowns quiet night for AJ Green uh, seven total tackles for Jesse Bates uh, no sacks from, from what I can see, no interceptions. Um, Bengals need to force some turnovers there, but I will catch you guys on the next episode. We'll be taking on the Buffalo Bills. You guys take it easy. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And had a running right through it. Finding so room.